Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at introduction to causal systems. Causal systems definition. A system can be defined as causal if if the output is dependent only on the inputs up to the current instant. That is, a system has a has an output y of t which which depends only on inputs up to time t that is the output y of t is a transformation of the inputs x of tau where tau is less than or equal to the current time t. So, this is the definition of a causal system that is the input to a system a causal system can be x of t or it can be one of the previous inputs that is that is the system can only take the inputs up to the current instant and the output is a transformation of this input and the output cannot be a transformation or a function of the future inputs that is y of t depends only on inputs up to current instant That is the current output depends only on inputs up to current instant. And a classical example of this type of system, that is a classical example of a causal system is an automobile. That is the system has for example engine as one of the subsystems and the possible inputs are the driver's foot pressure and and his steering control and the output is motion of the vehicle and quantified by velocity. So the magnitude of velocity that is speed is determined is determined by the foot pressure and the direction of the vehicle is determined by the steering. So the output is basically dependent on the inputs up to the current instant and the future decisions of the driver cannot influence the past outputs. So, this is a thus automobile engine is a causal system. Next, even in the situation where this automobile has a feedback connection from the output to the input that is we have an adder which goes through the primary system that is say engine and then we have an output y of t and then we also have a feedback connection say some kind of stabilizer that feeds the value of the velocity from a previous instant into the system and converts into a say for example desired pressure in terms of the foot pressure. So, this will be something like p of t. So, we have so here the output y of t is a function of function of x of t minus p of t and this p of t is a function of previous output. So the system is still dependent on the previous values of the output so which is again and becoming an input at the future instant. So the system is still causal even though it has a feedback connection. And next, all the systems that do not have any memory, that is, the systems that do not depend on previous inputs, are also causal systems. That is, the systems that has the following: y is a transformation of the current input x of t. And when we compare this relation, the definition of a causal system: y is y of t is equal to h of x of tau, and tau is less than or equal to t. In the memory, in the case of memoryless system, tau becomes equal to t, and therefore we have this result and this is a this is a memoryless system and this is also causal because it only depends on the current input. 
Now let us look at some examples of non-causal systems. Examples of non-causal systems. Even though causal systems are very important in the theory of systems, there, uh, in the real world there are many systems that are not necessarily causal. For example, let us look at a relation y of n, which is an output of a system that gives, that finds the difference or takes the difference between x of n and a future input x of n plus 1. In this case, the output y of n is dependent not only on the current input, but also on the future input. This is not a causal system. Similarly, when the output y of t is equal to x of t plus 1 or any value here that is greater than 0, then it is a function or a transformation of the future input. Then this is also a non-causal system. And another case where the system is not causal is when the independent variable is not time. That is when independent variable is not time, then the systems can be non-causal. Based on the definition that y of t, that is the output, is a function of or a transformation of the inputs up to the current instant. In, based on this definition, for the systems that do not have time as the main variable, they need not be causal. Now let us look at a real world example in which the system is non-causal, at least in the sense of time. This example is when you are dealing with digital image processing, that is when you are analyzing digital images. For example, in a, dig in a digital image of say a physical object, the value at a location x of y can depend on the values from x x plus 1 uh, comma y and also the value x comma y plus 1. So the value of the image at x comma y can depend on the value of the image at x comma y plus 1 and also the value of the image at x plus 1 comma y. This is definitely true in the case of images of meteorological that is weather events that is special variables or the independent variables then basically the causality or the influence can come from both directions. Based on the definition that x of tau leads to a y of t where tau is less than or equal to t that is for based on this definition of causal systems this is not a causal system. However, so another way of looking at this problem is that the causality in space can occur from both the directions that is it can occur from positive and also negative directions. Another example where the system is not causal is when you are using a averaging filter that is y of n that is the output is equal to an average of the inputs from minus n to plus n of the value x of n minus k that is when k is equal to minus n the input is x of 2n which is a future input therefore y of n is a non-causal system I mean the output y of n is a output of a non-causal system. So to summarize the causal systems the output only depends on the inputs up to the current instant and the, all the memory less systems that is the systems where, where the output is just a function of the current input are all causal systems. However, there are many systems in the real world which need not be causal in the temporal sense. Thanks for watching.